Before the opening bell, U.S. indices rising on Thursday, led by shares in banks, pharmaceuticals, biotech and life sciences, and diversified financials. Advancers beating decliners, 88% of S&P 500 constituents trading higher yesterday. Now, after the market closed, Schlumberger reporting third quarter EPS of 78 cents compared to $1.50 one year ago on revenue of $8.5 billion. Honeywell unveiling third quarter EPS of $1.60 oh, $1 versus $1.47 a year earlier on sales of $9.6 billion and Alibaba Group making a non-binding proposal to Yuku Tudu to acquire all outstanding shares of Yuku, including ADS, for $26.60 per ADS in an all-cash transaction. Now, keeping overseas, Asian markets gaining today, the Nikkei up 1.08%, the Hang Seng up 0.78%, and South Korea's coast be down 0.15%. European markets are upward and U.S. futures calling for a positive opening. Earnings releases expected for today. Comerica, third quarter EPS seen at 70 cents. General Electric, third quarter EPS seen at 26 cents on sales of approximately $28.7 billion. MNT Bank, third quarter EPS seen at $2.01. On the economic data front today, 9.15 in the morning, September industrial production due out month over month. Also September capacity utilization. While at 10 o'clock in the morning, we have the October preliminary University of Michigan sentiment read, and that's expected at 89. Regarding the trend on indices, Trading Central says the S&P 500 sees limited upside. The 50-period moving average is rising and provides support. A further upside is expected. The relative strength index lacking downward momentum, so long positions above 1989 are favored with targets at 2030 and 2035 in extension. On to the Nasdaq, which sees limited upside, preferring long positions above 43.45, and the Dow Jones seeing limited upside, preferring long positions above 16,000. 840.